Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be doing my second part of my 2017 year in review and we're going to be discussing my favorite indie polishes of the year. As I mentioned in my last video, um, which was my favorite like mainstream video, um, you, um, I mentioned that these are only going to be polishes that I that came out in 2017. Um, my three part to this will be kind of my favorite polishes as a whole, um, just polishes that you know I got in 2017 that I really enjoyed in 2017. So that's going to be more of just like a coverage of my favorites for the year. Um, these are just going to strictly be the ones that um, came out this year in the collections. So um, I've got seven here to show you, kind of a wide range of collection, a uh, wide range of brands. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. So. Um, first up, I feel like I'm going to try and do this in the order that I purchased them. Um, so first up in 2017 was my first purchase from Virago Varnish. Um, and I believe this polish came out in their, um, like, Valentine's Day kind of little trio or duo, something like that, that they, um, did on their, um, that they did, and unfortunately you can't get this anymore, I don't think, because Vera Gubarnish is not making polishes, as I'm aware. I think she had posted some stuff, like, last week or the week before, so there may some, be some stuff on her website. I don't think this was one that was on there, but if you're interested in trying some of her polishes, again, I haven't looked since then, so I don't know if they're still up, but she did have some... I think like last week or the year bef uh, week before last. So check those out if you're interested in Virago Varnish. Um, if we beg her enough, maybe she'll come back and make us some more polishes because I do enjoy her polishes. But anyway, um, this was my first um, Virago Varnish purchase and this is called Fuzzy Feelings. And Fuzzy Feelings is a really pretty um, purple with this really nice kind of blue um, flash and it has a holographic um, shimmer that goes through that. Um, this is really pretty, very nice formula. Can't complain. This after, uh, after getting this, I realize, or after purchasing another polish, you're going to see here in a minute, I realized these are super similar, similar. So I feel like I was on a kick of these just, you know, flash, um, you know, scattered holographic type polishes of the year. This is like a running trend. So, um, this I think was my, um, you know, stepping off point into, you know, the crazy indie purchases that I made this year. So this was a really pretty, um, really pretty polish. So again, that is called Fuzzy Feelings. And then let's see here. So I think in the summertime, I then purchased, um, from Cirque Polishes, what was it called? I don't remember. It's whatever their summer polish thing was. It was a bunch of neons. I really can't remember what it was called. Forgive me. Sorry. Um, but I've been on the hunt for a neon red for the longest time. Um, you know, most neon polishes that are red, um, the closest thing that I could find in the past was Ready to Rave, um, which was nice, but it was a little bit you know, once I got this particular polish, um, I realized that that this polish just blows it out of the water. You can definitely tell that Ready to Rave is a lot more orange. Um, you also probably need like a white base on Ready to Rave if you want it to be super bright. So I purchased this in the summertime and this just was amazing and just blew every other like red, neon reddish color out of the water for me. And this is called Game Over. And I can't say, you know, anything more on this polish. It's just like an, a beautiful neon red, awesome formula, definitely doesn't need a white base. Um, and it just is like this seary, this searing, um, like fiery red on the nail. It's the closest, um, you know, bright red that I've been able to find. Um, you know, definitely doesn't lean heavily orange like some other polishes have. So um, highly recommend this if it's still on her website. This is um, Game Over from Cirque. And then fall time, I think, was the, the heaviest indie purchases that I made. A lot of really awesome collections came out in the um, in the fall time. Um, or actually, I don't know if this came out in the fall. I picked this up in the fall, but I think this might have came out, came out a little bit earlier. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this one first. Sorry. I'm... <laughs> I like to like talk through my polishes as I'm going through. I'm just like, you know, having an inner monologue while trying to film videos. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this polish, I don't know when this came out. Judging it based on the color, I feel like this probably came out around the spring or summer. Um, probably not summer because this was, that game over came from the summer. So I'm getting, betting this is probably from the spring of this year. Um, and this is another Cirque polish. And I've purchased so many Cirque polishes this year. Um, so it was really hard to narrow down my favorites. I mean, Cirque by far has been my favorite 
polish brand of the year. I just think they had awesome, awesome collections this year. I'm so excited to see what she has in store for next year. I've just been super impressed with this brand. Um, so it was really hard to narrow down my favorites for Cirque, but definitely these are my, I've got three here in this, in this video and these are like the top cream of the crop. If you're going to try anything from Cirque Polish, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I think her polishes are awesome, but these are definitely my favorite. So uh, this came out, I believe, in the spring from their from her uh, Kawaii collection, and this is called Happy Monday. And Happy Monday um, is so pretty. It's really similar, and this is what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about uh, fuzzy feelings. These are really close um, in color. The Happy Monday here is just a lighter purple, um, a little bit more of like a lavender type shade, um, but it also has that blue flash and um, scattered holographic. Definitely not as um, dense as a scholar ha scattered holographic as Fuzzy Feelings, but they're pretty similar in color. Um, just Fuzzy Feelings is slightly more purple, um, and it's got a little bit more of a dense scattered holographic in there so but they're pretty close in in color but happy monday oh, this this is probably one of my top polishes of the year um out of everything i just uh, i put this on my fingers and i just was amazed at how gorgeous this was the blue flash that was in here is just so so pretty if you're interested in seeing this kind of on the nail um you will see a swatch here but i did wear this in like one of my first couple videos, either July or like August Manny's. Um, it's, I think it's one of those maybe. Um, but yeah, this, I just, I can't say enough good things about this polish. This was definitely one of my, my, if not probably my top of the year. So that is Happy Monday. And then, okay, as I was mentioning before, I forgot that. Um, fall was probably the heaviest indie purchases for me. I purchased a lot of polishes um, in the fall time from some indies and I just think, um, the fall collections as a whole for the indies were just amazing. So um, first up is going to be a picture polish. This is called Foxy. And this is just a really pretty um, orangey kind of burnt orange, a little bit of like a uh, orangey red with a really pretty scatter holographic that picture polish does. Wonderful formula, gorgeous color. If you like um, OPI's It's a Piazza Cake, I think this would be right up your alley if you're wanting something with a little bit of glitter in it. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous polish. That is Foxy. And then I also purchased um, from KB Shimmer from their blogger collection that came out in the fall. This is called Oh My Gourd. And Oh My Gourd is definitely like a pumpkin orange, um, just slightly um, a little bit more of a yellow toned um, pumpkin orange. Again, a wonderful formula, gorgeous color. It's kind of one of those ugly, pretty, um, like I mentioned in other videos, this reminds me of um, like baby food. Um, so don't know if this is going to be like an all around favorite color for people because I think you definitely have to be kind of into ugly pretty colors but I thought this was just a gorgeous kind of neutral nail for me um just I, I really loved this polish so again that is oh my gourd from Katie Shimmer and then um my first colorist Carol purchase was from her metamorphosis um collection that came out in kind of like end of fall and this is called transmutation um I this is an amazing duochrome polish um this is a shapeshifter. It's just got so many different colors going on. It goes from purple to blue to a little bit of gold to this like kind of um, pinkyish purple. I mean it just it had so many different variations and it's got a scattered holographic going through it um, and I believe it had some um, duochrome, multi-chrome. I, I use those terms interchangeably, duochrome, multi-chrome. I don't really, you know, you get me, you feel me. Um, but this also has some multi-chrome flakies in there as well alongside the um, the scattered holographic polish, uh, scattered holographic glitters that are in there or shimmers um, or flakies, whatever they are. This is just so, so pretty. This is definitely probably, again, another top pick for me out of these polishes. Uh, I just really enjoyed this. I mean, I'm super into, I mean, at this point, I've purchased so many duochromes slash multichromes this year, and I just, I can't get enough of them. I just love them so much. So um, out of all the ones that I purchased this year, definitely, again, another top pick. So that is uh, Transmutation from Colors de Carol. And then my last favorite is going to round out um, the winter. For, it's going to round out my picks. This is from the Winter Collection from Cirque. Um, and again, I should have looked up how to pronounce this, but I didn't, and I'm too lazy to look now. But this is... Um, there's the name there, H-Y-G-G-E, Haig, Heig, Haig, something like that. Um, 
Sorry, I should have looked that up and I forgot about it. Um, but this is a gorgeous light blue, uh, light blue with a pink flash, that pinky copper flash that Cirque has been putting in most of their polishes this year. Um, again, with a scattered holographic in it. If you loved uh, China Glaze's Pearl Jammin', this would be right up your alley. This is a gorgeous polish. Um, I have compared the two, so if I remember, I'll put that swatch photo in here if you're interested. Um, this formula was amazing. This for me blew Pearl Jammin' out of the water. I've had many, you know, as I've said in multiple videos, I didn't care for Pearl Jammin'. Um, and this is kind of what I was looking for when it came to Pearl Jammin'. The, the shimmer um, flash that's in here is just amazing. So, so, so pretty. So um, definitely, again, a top pick for the year. So that is that polish name that I can't really pronounce. Maybe I'll put it here if I remember. I wish I, I wish I remembered how to look it up. I wish I remembered how to pronounce it. But anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed again. Let me know some of your favorite indie polishes for the year. I would love to hear them. I would love to buy them. Um, and again, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.